first and foremost, we like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Kadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, who teach us this truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam Zemori who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. The the brethren from Trinidad camp, you know, we come to another day, edifying lesson to feed the lek at the outside Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This is a quick little lesson, you know, I'll entitle this one, you know, Keep His Righteousness to Your Best Abilities. You know, so we got Jake's, you know, today saying that, you know, he, the laws done away, you know, we don't have to go through them thing no more. You know, but with all the, with all the law, you know, with all the, the world of your Abashim the world will be in chaos. You know, and we see in, you know, them that, you know, do uphold the law, to uphold the Lord's standard, to uphold the Lord's righteousness. You're seeing, you know, how they is today, right? What's what going on, you know, into this world, you know, they that, you know, forsook the, the ways of your Abashim you are seeing Jake's in, you know, in homosexuality, you know, same-sex marriage, these things, you know, abomination, you know, chaos. Right, you see the, the, the world in today, all that despise the way of the Heavenly Father. But guess what? It has consequences to face by doing these things, by despising the ways of your Basha Meshach. Because the laws ain't done. Because they were going to be judged by the laws. You know, every man going to get rewarded according to the works. You know, the things where they do, the righteous things they do, by practicing, by keeping. The way of life to uphold it to your best ability. The scripture says in, in Nehemiah 1, you read it. In Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 5, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, power of heaven, the great and terrible power. The great and terrible power is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Heavenly Father. The Lord knew all of them that sin against him, and we say he's going to deliver them unto death and destruction. It's going to be terrible. You know, the dead going to be terrible unto them. Go ahead great and terrible power that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Yeah, to observe his commandments. If you get look up back in the blue letter, observe. Strong's H, 8104. Shamer. Shamer. The outline of clinical usage is to keep, guard, observe, give heed. Give heed. Take heed. The Moses say, If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of thy Lord to observe and to keep these Lord's statutes and commandments. Right? If you read 1A. On A7, it say to observe, celebrate, keep Sabbath or covenant or commands to perform vow. Right? So hey, this way it is to this way it is to, to be obedient unto Yahweh Shem Yahushai, to keep his commandments. The Lord himself, Yahweh Shai, he said he didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets. You understand? But he came to fulfill. What he fulfilled was the things that were spoken of of him in the old testament right that is what he came to fulfill his his lot he came in his lot and he came to fulfill those things that were spoken of but he said that no jot or one tittle shall in any wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled and that if he was to break these least commandments he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven so yeah as yahweh as yahweh did and we are followers of yahweh right we enter into his labors. We have to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments as well. Now, oh, Yahweh Shai, he kept the law perfectly. And we don't have that. We don't have that ability. That is why we need him. But at the end of the day, the, 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 the mentality is not, I have Yahweh Shai, so I'm not going to do anything. Right? That's why he said in the book of Matthew, chapter 5. 
faz um esfolir, sei lá, e aí vou cá matar o chapter five o esfolir, it's a be therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect now these christians they do bring all this right they, they tend to use the scripture but obviously there's no private interpretation so they use it in a false way to try to prove that you know it's faith and disprove the keeping of the laws statutes and commandments but yahusha here is saying to be perfect now how is it that we going to be made perfect by faith and by works because works is manifestation of faith we can't be perfect through our works because we ourselves are weak so we can't keep the law perfectly but in Yahushai his life in Yahushai is perfection short. so by keeping the laws to the best of your ability and having faith in him so let me say let me say your max strength is 80% Yahushai will be that 20 that you could not you could not make or if he is 50 he will be the next 50 because you're again 100 but you're not perfect you understand? So whoever you could make, if you fight to the best of your ability to, to acquire it, and wherever you, wherever you, you can't reach, that way you have a shy for. And we all need you have a shy, because none of us are perfect. Can. Yeah. Alright, so if you could, you know, you read some more of the, you know, the outside biblical usage, you know, they say to, to keep, to retain, treasure up, memory. You know? That memory is a real something. Right, to retain something, you know. Then um, Judges five verse eleven. Look at Judges chapter five verse eleven. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, they shall they reuse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Yeah, to rehearse the righteous act, to observe it, to uphold it, right? You know, throughout the whole scriptures, not once say you shall say to forsake the law. You always say keep the commandments, right? Keep it, right? Yeah, we in flesh, you know, we know this place, you know, it, 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 it set for a man to fall. You know, we shall eat the defiled bread among the Gentiles. You know, he saw defiling everything, you know, but you know what we could do to you know to, to keep it established, you know, to rehearse it, to, you know, to practice. You know, as the brother say, you know, we go fifty, you know, your shy is the other fifty. You know, he gonna make he gonna make us perfect. Right? When he gonna when we gonna be changed. Right? When he gonna set crowns. You know? As the scripture says, you know, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to sprinkle clean water and you're going to cause me to keep his commandments because we ain't going to be in this corruptible flesh. We're going to be in these glorious bodies. You know, these bodies that are not subjected to sin. You know, but while we in these prisons, are these chains of darkness, you rehearse it. Because rehearsing something is to get perfect. So by rehearsing something, no. Practice, as they always say, practice make perfect. Because we're going to be perfect when you're shy. You know, when he come, he going to make us perfect. Because guess what? Because we're practicing right now. We're rehearsing it right now. Right? Go ahead. Book of Isaiah, chapter 32, and verse 1. It says, Behold, Isaiah 32. Say, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. Right, so if you go in the blue letter and you look up the word, you look up the word judgment. Strong's H 4941. Mishpat. Mishpat. judgment, the right, outline of biblical usage is a judgment, justice, ordinance. Judgment act of deciding at peace, place court seat of judgment. It's a 
they go to 1C. It's the ordinance, decision in law, right, privilege, due, prosper, fitting measures, fitness, custom, manner, plan. Um, right, so ordinance. So princes would rule in judgment. So what so in the kingdom, what do you think we're gonna be judging or ourselves or people and these other nations off of the law you understand we are going to be judging them off of the law it say a king behold a king shall rule in righteousness follow copy with the righteousness right one it's it's a justice rightness Righteousness, 1A. What is right or just or normal? Rightness, justness. It's a, um, a righteousness, justification, deliverance, victory. Um, you go to 1B, it's a righteousness of judges, rulers, kings, of law, of Jerusalem as seat of just government, of God's attribute. So we are going to be ruling according to the law. And we will be the perfect rulers because the Hawusha is gonna give us was those those new bodies, those incorruptible bodies. You put the laws within our inward parts, within our minds. And just as he is, as scripture in first John 3 verse 1, we shall be as he is, we will be perfect as well. So we will be the perfect kings, the perfect priests. We're not saying we, but you know, we are the hopefully elect, so whoever the elect may be, right? They will be the, the perfect governing body, right? That that, that perfect government to, to, to bring forth this law and as our apostle it was, it was our elder brother he was saying you know niggas believe that they're just going to be in the kingdom eating sleeping and having sex and just you know is aware but it's not going to be that in the kingdom if you're going to have things to do right you're not just going to be the happy go lucky no that government going to be established you're going to have the governing body the rest of the elect right the rest of israel you're going to have order you know the Lord is not a man of confusion, everything be done in decency and in order. If we don't have a government and law is going to be getting put out, people are going to be getting judged, things are going to be done. It's still gonna have to keep the holy days and right, so that law is still gonna exist. It's just the only thing that's going to change is us from being imperfect to being perfect. This mortal must put on immortality and corruption must put on incorruption. Right? Can, you know, and it, and it's not going to be anybody to say all nations going to no. get a part of this. No. And the scripture is saying, um, forget the um, second address 3 verse 36. Second address chapter 3 verse 36. Said, thou shalt find that Israel by name and Psalm 35. So, 35. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name had kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Yesterday, this promise is not going to come to these, these heathen. Right? The law, statutes, and commandments was given unto the Israelites. Right? They going to turn from. The wickedness the elect and they're gonna uphold righteousness and they're gonna rule right and they're gonna be judges based on the same law you all despise today the same law you all despise today is that world you're gonna be judged or judged based on on that same thing because scripture say you know the lord words you know from since you know before the foundation of the earth you know it abided forever right throughout generation it's not gonna stop Right, that the scripture say, you know, um, he's not gonna alter the things you know that gone out from his mouth, it's not gonna change, it's the same, right? So, you know, his words, you know, he showed it unto, unto Jacob again, yeah, um, yeah, Baruch 4, verse 4. Look at Baruch chapter 4, verse 4, for Israel, happy are we. For things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. Yes, we think pleasing unto Yahweh, Basham, Yahshai, has been made 
known unto the elect to keep faith and rehearse the righteous act. These are things that was being made known unto, the, unto them. The Lord who the ones who we chose. Right? To give his wisdom. Wisdom it was not manifested unto many. But the men we choose, right? The Abasha Meshai made it known unto them. Right? That a hey, having faith and doing anything pleasing unto the Heavenly Father by establishing the law because scripture says even in the New Testament. Right? Not because sin, not because grace are born, we're gonna continue in sin. Right? Establish it as, as law. Keep his commandments. You know, these are the things that your shy had spoken. These are the things were being made known to all it, to the left. Right? Rehearse it. To these Christians, why would you not want to do something that pleases the Heavenly Father and the Son? It says, O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to Yahweh made known to us. What was given to Israel? The law. Right? Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. The law, statutes, and commandments was given to Israel. So why would you not want to do something that pleases the Heavenly Father? You see, Paul doesn't understand. The reason why the Lord became displeased with us, even while he was still displeased with the Pharisees and them, they forgot the pleasing to Yahweh pattern. They became masters of the law, yes, but they, they forgot the essence, they forgot the purpose for keeping the law. You don't, you don't keep the Sabbath for keeping the Sabbath sake. You see, they, they turn it into um, a tradition. Right? They made it as if it was a tradition of, of men. They forgot the reasoning. They forgot why they received the law. You know, what, what caused them to receive this law. Right? Leading them out of Egypt and I will be to you a people, you should I will be to you a power, you should be to me a people. They forgot the, the reasoning behind keeping the law. It was to please Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It was a part of the covenant between God and people. But they just kept it. And I shouldn't even say keep it because the burdens are that why, that why I'm, I can't remember the apostle. But he was telling them, hey, believe in Yahweh Shai because these people was putting all manner of burdens on them. You had to get circumcised, you had to do this, you had to do that. But they themselves could not do it. They themselves wasn't even perfect in the law. Yet they calling all these burdens on, on, on the um, the Israelite foreigners. So that's why I say you had to, you had to believe in Yahweh Shai. No, that's not going to make you break the law. Because Yahweh Shai is not of sin. Then the Sanya Usha is of life. And I'm keeping the laws, right? It is the doctrine of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. So you rehearse the righteous acts as, as the scriptures bring it out. You do the things that is pleasing to Yahweh Shem Yahushai to obtain salvation. You can't it don't do make sense because if, if Yahweh Shai lived perfectly in uh, what 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 did he live perfectly in? Right? What was the thing that, that made him perfect? The fact that he had he kept the law perfectly. That is the thing that was judging whether he was perfect or not. He kept the law perfectly. Why would you be following a man, right? You following Yahushai. A man that keep the law perfectly, but you live in to break every commandment that is written. That don't make no sense. That is just what Christianity is just about hey. Let we do what we want. You understand? Let we give in to the flesh and still believe in Jesus so that we can be saved. You wanna, you wanna, you are the trophy, but you don't pay no work for it. You are reach to the finish line, but you don't wanna run. You don't wanna run towards the finish line. You want the finish line come to you. But it will never work out like that. Okay, it didn't work out like that for Yahushai. Watch what he went through to receive he he throne. How could you not go through the same thing? You are not greater than your master, right? So whoever walk he walk that was carved out. You are following in his footsteps, and in Yahushua's footsteps is the keeping of the law, statutes, and commandments. Can yeah, we had to we had to go hey, kiss the sun. You know, we had to go through yeah, your your shy. Right, we get yeah, um, Sirach twenty four, chapter verse eight. Look at Sirach chapter twenty four, verse eight. It says so the Creator of all things gave me a commandment. And he that made me cause my tabernacle to rest and said, Let thy dwelling be in Jacob and thine inheritance in Israel. Yes, yeah, so Yahushai, you know, he didn't disobey his father. His father gave him a commandment to do this. Yeah. And he, 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 he kept it, he, he did it. 
That's why he said, I came not to do my own will, but the will of my father that sent him. So guess what? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Right? Go ahead. Verse 9. He created me from the beginning before the world, and I shall never fail. But he will never fail. He will never fail. Right? We yesterday, at the right hand of your father, he, he finished his course. He have kept the feet. And what is led up to him? The kingdom, the, 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 the kingdom. All right, go ahead. Ten. In the holy tabernacle I served before him, and so was I established in Zion. Yeah, he was established in Zion. Right? To bring the, the bride unto the groom. Yeah. Right? You go to verse, you go to verse one. It says, Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. So, Israel, to wisdom have a people. Imagine, imagine that. Wisdom have a people. And the people who is it, let thy dwelling be in Jacob. To show you how, how truly significant Israel is in this, whole, in this whole thing. Right? Israel was created. That the nation of Israel was formed to execute the Lord's way, to execute the Lord's judgment on this earth right that that, that, the, perp, that the purpose of, of israel you jakes you can't understand it no but in the kingdom when you come back in eh, the scripture say we will no longer have to teach any man say no the lord for all shall know from the greatest to the least right so you will come into your rightful lot that we are made to be kings and priests of your bashim yahweh shai right we have a priest up in first Kings chapter 2 verse 1. Yeah. Book of First Kings chapter 2 verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong therefore, and show thyself a man, and keep the charge of the Lord thy power, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Right? So David letting Solomon know this is how you're going to show yourself to be a man. This is how you're going to show your strength. By obeying the Mosai. To keep all his commandments, all his statutes, all his judgments, his testimonies. That he would prosper in all that you're doing. And wheresoever you go. And this is why Israel cannot see their way. Right? Because we not why are we not prospering? Because we're not doing the things that are listed out here. We're doing the opposite. So you are prospering. You're suffering. Right? That all Israel only suffering because why? They're disobedient. Hardened. Stiff neck. Right? And say, with us, so if I doubt to this thyself, no, in the, the curses it say, um, in, in curses shall thou be in the city. Curses shall thou be in the field. In the evening thou will say, what power it will morning. In the morning, they always say what power it will evening. You can't catch a break, you understand? You can't catch yourself at all. Wherever you're going, you're suffering because you, 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 you didn't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. So ask yourself, in order for me to get away from these curses, does it make sense to continue to do the wrong thing? No. Look at Yahushua as the perfect example. Yahushua is sitting at the right hand of the Heavenly Father. So if he is sitting at the right hand of the Heavenly Father and he got that he got there by being obedient, by being faithful, by fearing the Lord, by doing all the things that the Lord commanded him, and that's what he received, then that is what he wanted to do as well. To receive that same gift. So you no know the Lord's not done away with. Why would the why would the most have done away with something he create? Right? Doctrine of life, the laws is the doctrine of life. Why would the Lord do away with that? It's just a hey, you Christians all are just lazy. All they want all they want to justify all the wickedness, it's simple as that. Come. Yeah, it's, it's talking you know he concerned, you know, David, you know, he, he gave his son that charge, you know, he did, hey, follow this pattern, follow this way, follow the doctrine of life. Daisy we are life, Daisy we are the heavenly father, we are the we are the blue, you know, it to prosper. You know, to, to rise. You know, to get down. Sirach 
4 verse 11. Book of Sirach chapter 4 verse 11. Wisdom is all the children in the pool of them that seek. He that loveth her loveth life. Yeah. They that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. Yeah. He that loveth her loveth life. Yeah. Right? And daisy life you know Moses spoke about. Right? So if you love life, you know, and you wanna you wanna you wanna prosper, you wanna rule over your oppressors, you know, you wanna serve your basham your shy. There's what you had to do. You had to seek her. They never say despise her. Seek her. Go ahead. Let's see, he that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory, and wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One, and them that love her, the Lord doth love. Whoso giveth air unto her, them that what? Them that love her, the Lord doth love. Them that love her. Right? That is who the Lord love. And where you shall say, they that do the will of my Father. Right? Country to 15. Say, verse 15 say, Whoso giveth air unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. Right, it's like it, it plain, it plain right here. Eh? Yeah. Whoso giveth air unto her shall judge the nation. Because they will be going to judge them one based on the law. So, hey, what we doing right now, rehearsing it. Rehearsing to rule, you know? yeah. rehearsing it now to be rulers on the other side. So, we practicing now, you know, it is how we're going to be. You know, we are trying to get. Perfect, you know, as your shy is perfect, so we will see the righteous act because hey, this is how we gonna we gotta we gotta judge them, you know, based on based on the same thing we will see the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Read it over 15. Whoso giveth air unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely, yes, yeah, shall dwell securely, safe. <laughs> right, see if right. Uh, read verse seventeen and say, for at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. That is what you people who do not want to partake in. Yeah. Your worry your worry reward. They don't want to go through that fear and dread and torment with her discipline. Mm. Even me, I wish I said, like, yeah, if you really watch the lives of Yahweh, when he was Adam, when he was King Solomon, he learned that too, and he learned discipline. You understand? Because why he learned that by him disobeying, disobeying, he was put to death. Right? He was punished. Yeah. So he learned that, he, he learned. And then what she returned the straight way unto him. Yeah, because he said it too, you know, he came to pay for his sins and then for the people. Yeah. So he learned, he learned this discipline. Okay. He that first born, right? So he, again, he knew, like when he came as Yahusha, he knew who he was in his past lives. He knew he was Adam, he knew he was Isaac, he knew he was um, King Solomon, right? And he made it say that in, in um, in terms of Solomon, that if he was to disobey, I would punish him with the stripes, the stripes of men and all these things. That is why Yahweh Shai went through that. That that have a part to play as to why he went through, he went through you as know, well. Yeah, that's that's so deep, you know. But I die for that, uh, that yeah. topic because it's a show Solomon didn't die that death. Yeah. Solomon yeah, wasn't chastised with the, the other men. You know, he didn't die that death. You know, who fit that is Yahweh Shai. Book of Zama Solomon chapter 3, verse 11. Can this Zama Solomon chapter 3? Zama Solomon 3, verse 11. Start at verse 8. See, they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Yeah, they that put their trust in him gonna understand the truth. They that abide anything pleasing unto your basham your shy, you're gonna reveal his secret unto them. They're gonna understand this. Go ahead. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. And where is the Lord faithful in love? Where is the Lord love? 
and we join in. This is love that we walk yeah. in His commandments. Good. So, grace and mercy is to His saints, and He had care for His elect. The body and God, shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous. Yeah, which is the Lord. Which had turned away from the law. That say the Lord's done away, we gotta do that. You know, we yeah. could be homosexuals, we could, you know, eat all these unclean beasts, we could, you know, live this, you know, unrighteousness la- lifestyle. You know, we could do all them things. We don't have to do them thing no more. It's not it's not saying that. You know? You see, that one is say, for whoso despises wisdom and nature, he is miserable, and their hope is in vain, their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. Right, so as we brother say, by you saying the Lord's done away with, this is this is your this is gonna be your life. Miserable, vain, son, unprofitable. No, you might receive it now. But I can guarantee in these last days, Jacob's struggles are upon our people and they starve into death. If you're watching the children die from famine, they're watching their husbands being murdered in war, right? People coming in and, and, and ravishing their goods ravishing their daughters, right? People kidnapping their babies. All all manner of, of tribulation. I shouldn't even say persecution, but tribulation on our people. They would they would they would realize. Right? They would they would look back. You understand? They would look back and they would remember. They would remember all the things that they heard from the prophets. And then it would it would be too late. Verse twelve would say their wives are foolish and their children are wicked. Their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which have not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in visitation of souls. So basically, it's saying, hey, it bet, it's better for the, for the, the woman that is barren and faithful to Yahweh Shem Yoshai. It's better for she than for the woman that not barren and, and bearing forth many sons. And she and she sons foolish. You understand? The woman that is barren, she will have a, a better end. The Lord, will, the Lord will open her, her womb and she would bring forth she wouldn't bring forth wicked niggers but she would bring forth kings you understand from her womb so it be, better for she you understand if she be barren and, and, and serve the Lord right so he, he, to, to, as if you go up in um, to the ally Solomon chapter 8 verse 17 it says Wisdom of Solomon 8 verse 17 now when I consider these things in myself and ponder them in my heart how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality and great pleasure is it to have her friendship and in the works of her hands are infinite riches and in the exercise right the exercise is to do some to carry to, that that way it means to be um, to observe that goes into exercise to actually establish the law of conference with her prudence and in talking with her good report I went about seeking who to take her to me I jumped to verse 21 nevertheless when I perceive that I could not otherwise obtain her except Yahweh gave her me and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was I prayed unto the Lord and besought him and with my whole heart I said Right, to be allied unto wisdom is immortality, is great pleasure to have a friendship, to exercise the conference with her, to bring forth fruit meet for repentance, to rehearse the righteous acts, to keep the laws. All these things is a sign of your faith towards the Hauba Shem Yahu Shai. Okay, but faith, like with faith, faith without works is dead. You cannot say you have faith and have nothing to show for it. Because how, how do you identify a wicked man in the things that he do, right? The things that he do and the things that he say. That's how you go identify, right? This man is a murderer because he killed somebody. He's an adulterer because he or she committed adultery. So how is the, how is the righteous identified? By the works, by the things that they do. And keeping the law, statutes and commandments is, is part of that, that works. Can. Can. Yeah, as I as say, and um, 
Matthew 19 verse 17. Matthew chapter 19 verse 17 and he said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one that is Yahweh but if thou wilt enter into life keep the commandments yeah that life you know immortality we will not read you know the you know to allied unto wisdom you know continuing the feet I or Basham Shai the immortality you know we keep keeping this you know, and days were days days by days days fate. Days were how we had days how we had to show your fate unto the heavenly father. Not just a hear the law, but a do a, you know. Right? So by you do anything pleasing unto the heavenly father, because this is what is pleasing Lord. Right? By keeping his ways, by hearkening, by listening. Days how we had to please the heavenly father by by the fear of the Lord. Right? Precept in second address chapter sixteen verse seventy three. Second address sixteen seventy three. Say then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the golden as the gold in the fire. Yea, O my O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold the days of trouble are at hand, for I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say the Lord God. So, who, who is he going to guide? Those are keeping commandments and he precepts. Can. That's why the scriptures say, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be, you know, our stability in these times. Right? Because, hey, through, through wisdom, we faith in your Basha Mershah that we listen is righteousness. Do you know? He gonna deliver them. He gonna save them when these evils come. This is what gonna be we understanding, you know, for for all the things we you know we where we store up. You know, the scriptures say, you know, the Lord is not slack how we pro he promise. They forget our works, you know, our labor of love that we show towards his name. Right? He's not gonna forget the things that we do. So this way you storing up, you storing you storing up, you know, a way out. Just as how we saw set up safe zones that you know eh, where they where the where the vaccines, you know, that had safe zones, this is gonna be your safe zone from the destruction where your Basham is gonna bring. This is gonna be a safe zone. You know, so the same thing what Jake's despise is the same thing they're gonna be judged on. As the scripture say in second address nine. You know what? what? Second address nine verse eleven. Oh, second address chapter nine verse seven eleven. Say and they that have loaded my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Yeah, the sea must know it after death by pain. So all you jakes that despise the, the, the Heavenly Father law that, you know, we ain't going and we don't have to follow the law. We ain't going and, you know, be judged by that. You're wrong. They way going to be judged according to your works. Right? Because where is sin? Transgression of the law. They know you was, they know you was going to be judged by the things you do. Right? The wicked things you do. The righteous things you, you do, you're gonna, it's gonna, hey, the book's gonna be laid open, and don't feel that you know the Lord, you know, we you must be do five years ago that you know the Lord died too much years, is that done gone? The Lord can't remember that, but that was ten years ago. You're wrong. The Lord memory, unlimited, the memory in full, you know. So all these things a man gonna, you know, be judged according to the, the things he did. You know, and with that, you know, hope it was very fine. I'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Rulewell. And peace and salutation to the Akims, them out pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. 
Thank you, brothers from Trinidad, GMS Camp. They say, Inshallah, one.